What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll talk about the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt. I know a lot of you out there on console, including myself, are going to be looking for this today. It's one of the, a lot of people, what a lot of people are considering best in slot for uh, DPS. And when it comes to getting this, some of these lead drops are going to kind of be a pain. So we're going to talk about the first one, which is going to be the Bog Blue, which is going to come from the Runes of Mazatun final boss. So you can go in and run Runes of Mazatun on normal. The only chance you're going to get to get that drop is going to be from that final boss. So as long as you're running that dungeon, the chances, nobody really knows the exact drop chances on all of these yet. Uh, a few of them seem to be more rare than others. But like I said, that blue bog, uh, that bog blue, excuse me, is going to be coming from the runes of Mazatun final boss. The next thing you can get, of course, is the cut leather. That's going to be any world boss here in Blackwood. Now, from what I understand, there's a few world bosses when it comes to Blackwood right down here that are close together on the bottom of the map. There may be some other ones that are close together. A lot of people have been farming these on PC because they're so close to way shrines. So make sure that you're just farming world bosses in uh, Blackwood and you will be able to get that cut leather to drop. Uh, the cord is going to come from Balfoyan, and this is going to be from uh, some of the uh, enemies that are located here in Balfoyan. Now, of course, Balfoyan is located right over here on the far side of uh, Stone Falls, as you guys can see. So if you zoom in right here, uh, most everyone is saying these, uh, these coven enemies that you have to kill are going to be located up this water in the middle or right out here on this island, kind of on the edge. Uh, they said the spawns are pretty quick from everyone that I have been watching and kind of researching this stuff so I can do these videos from PC players. Uh, they say the respawns are pretty quick, but there's going to be a lot of people on this small, small island farming this. But you can kind of farm them, like I said, up the water here or kind of right over here on the side. You're just looking for those uh, those enemies to be able to kill. They will drop that uh, lead from there. The next thing is going to be the glass beads. Now, this is the one that everyone is having problems with in Shadowfin. There's already been reports, you know, to, to Zoss, to pick up uh, to, or to get the, the drop rate to pick up to make it a lot higher. They said the drop rate is very, very slow on this. And this is going to come from any water plants, your water hyacinth, your, uh, your water skin. So like, you know, anything you find like pure water, clean water, all that kind of stuff, your nern root, uh, those are going to be located, of course, on the water. So you can kind of just work your way around these waterways all the way around the map on the inside and the outside edge of the map. The issue with this is going to be is a lot of people may just be farming the node. Some people may just sit on one node. Uh, there's been a lot of reports that if you go to the node and you look at it, and instead of picking it up and picking it, if it doesn't have the lead, leave it for somebody else. They say it may have the lead for someone else. There's a lot of different ways you can farm these, but just be aware that this zone may be very, very crowded because everyone is reporting this thing is very hard to get to drop. It's the worst one out of all of them, but that is where you get uh, of course, the glass beads, like I said, from any water plant. And last but not least is the tail sash, which is going to come from foul water fishing in Merkmire. So there's a lot of foul water fishing holes inside of Merkmire, several up around the top, several around the middle and the bottom of the map. You just have to go in. I hope it's not going to be bad as the uh, thrash and stranglers. You know, a lot of us had to fish for that and it took forever to get that to drop. From what I'm understanding, this is a pretty decent drop, so it's not taking too long. Like I said, the what from... Everything that I've gathered, the drop in Shadowfin, of course, is going to be the worst from the water plants. But this is going to vary for everyone. Everyone, Everyone's RNG is a little bit different. Uh, some people, if you're like myself, have horrible RNG, so it might take you forever to get all these pieces. But hopefully, uh, once you go through, you can get all these quickly. Then you're going to go in, actually, and come back to Blackwood, which I know is going to sound strange. And that is where you're going to dig up all of these leads. They're going to be just in the Blackwood zone. They're not going to be located in each individual zone that you're getting them from. All the leads will be located in Blackwood. You can dig them all up from here. Anyway, guys, I hope this kind of helped you with the Harpooner's Waiting Kilt. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you got it yet. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time.